Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see shear lag. So let's see what is shear lag. The tensile force is transferred from gusset to the tension member such as angles, channels, D sections through one leg by bolts or welds. See, I will explain this thing by drawing a proper sketch here. See. Let us assume that this is your gusset head. Okay. And let us assume that you have connected an angle section here. There is an angle section which is connected to this gusset head. This one will be the gusset plate, and this one is your angle. Okay. And let us assume that it is connected. With a bolt, let us assume that it is connected with a bolt, okay, like this. Now, what happens in this process? Initially, the connected leg may be subjected to more stress than the outstanding leg. This concept we have seen. Which one? Which concept I am talking about? See, this leg is called as which leg? It is called as outstanding leg. This one is your outstanding leg. And this one is your connected leg. So, what it says in this process initially, this connected leg, this leg will may be subjected to more stresses. This leg will what happen? There will be more stresses because obviously this leg is connected. Now, this one is outstanding leg, and this one is connected leg to the gusset thread, and there is a bolt hole in this. So, load is getting transferred through this leg means maximum load is getting transferred through this point or through this joint which is bolted joint then finally what happens the stress distribution becomes uniform over the section away from the connection and thus one part will lag behind other and this is referred as shear lag what happens there will be more stresses over here and there will be, there will be less stresses over here so what will happen because of that one pair part will lag behind other and that is nothing but your shear lag okay let's see some other definition or some other explanation about shear lag the non uniform transfer if you want to define it in a simple way the non uniform transfer of stress occurs across the section cause non uniform straining of the section straining means it will have certain pressure over that section Due to which section cannot be eff effectively utilized and fails under the minimum strength across the section instead of average. At a particular section, as I told you in the previous diagram, see in previous diagram what I what I have shown you, see in the previous diagram there was a gusset plate like this, there was an angle, okay, like this. So what happens? What it says there will be non-uniform straining means there will be more pressure on this point there will be less pressure on this outstanding leg and due to that there will not be a proper or effective utilization of the strength and thus what will happen there will not be any proper strength throughout the section so this particular phenomena is known as shear lag effect so this was the video on shear lag thank you